The home team has won all five meetings between UND and NDSU since North Dakota moved up to Division I in men's basketball. UND fans are hoping that trend continues tonight as the Fighting Hawks look for perhaps a signature win in this young season against the Bison. As year two of the Bubba Schweigert era gets underway, a familiar question still surrounds UND in fall camp. Who will North Dakota's starting quarterback be? And Fringy says she has a lot to prove, coming from a high school with an enrollment of a little more than 50 to playing here in the Betty and representing Class B in her home state. UND made its case to be in the FCS playoffs, a 7-4 overall record, a win against an FBS opponent, and three straight wins to finish the season in Bubba Schweigert's second year at the helm. Seven Frozen Four appearances in the last 11 years, the most of any program during that time span. Reporting from the Frozen Four in Boston, Phil Newman, WDAZ Sports. Along with a 4.33 GPA, Jace has also gone on three mission trips with his church. Most of them now have one of these, these green rally towels they've been handing out, which say the words, finish the fight on them. So tomorrow will be the players' first look at War Memorial Stadium, which seats close to 30,000 people. That's part of the reason UND used music this week to simulate crowd noise at some of its practices. For Kildeer, it's Derek Tabor. And not only does he have the numbers on offense, more than 1,200 yards on the ground and 14 touchdowns, he also has 60 tackles on defense. This guy's a two-way player. And a Easy as that. Jody, after the final minute of regulation nearly resulted in disaster for East Grand Forks, it was the Green Wave's experience and big playability that led them to their second consecutive Class A title. The lights shine brighter on Friday night. I'm Phil Newman, and we'll get you set for a full night of high school football later in sports.